Good morning and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones. This morning we're bringing you live coverage of the autonomous undocking of a SpaceX cargo Dragon vehicle that has been docked to the International Space Station since December 22nd. Packed inside Cargo Dragon is more than 4,900 pounds of return samples and science. Teams here in Mission Control Houston and in Hawthorne, California will be leading today's autonomous release of the Cargo Dragon vehicle. In Mission Control Houston, teams during this Orbit 2 shift are being led by NASA Flight Director Pooja Jasrani. Today you'll also hear the voice of our CAPCOM or Capsule Communicator who will interface with the crew on board station during today's operation. Today's CAPCOM is Scott Sagati. Also working this operation today is our Visiting Vehicle Officer or VVO, VVO Nick Fernald. Shortly after Dragon is released today, it will conduct a series of undocking and departure burns or firings of its main engine to move it to a safe distance away from the space station and eventually exit the approach ellipsoid for its return back to Earth, ending in a parachute assisted splashdown off the coast of Florida, off the coast of Panama City, Florida tomorrow afternoon. We are currently in an expected handover between satellites, but once we do regain views, we should be able to see Dragon as it departs. Departure, the departure undocking command is scheduled for 9.35 a.m. Central Time this morning. Dragon arrived to its capture point at the International Space Station on December 22nd, but it launched to the International Space Station on December 21st when the spacecraft launched on top of a Falcon 9 rocket from Space Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The spacecraft lifted off, off, off the Florida coast with more than 6,500 pounds of science investigations and supplies. Upon its arrival to the International Space Station the next day on December 22nd, Expedition 66 flight engineers Raj Achari and Tom Marshburn monitored the arrival from the station's cupola. This morning, we'll be looking towards a series of milestones in anticipation of the undocking and retreat of the SpaceX cargo vehicle. First, around 9.35 a.m. Central Time, 10.35 a.m. Eastern Time, ground controllers will send commands for Dragon to undock from the space-facing port of the station's Harmony module. Then a series of two burns will take place to distance the cargo dragon from the space station. And following these burns, we'll look for the vehicle to exit two invisible lines around the space station. The first is the keep out sphere, which is a 200 meter radius around the space station. Then as dragon continues to move further away from the space station, it will exit the approach ellipsoid, which is four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers. 
Both that keep out sphere and approach ellipsoid serve as checkpoints for vehicles on the way to and from the space station. So again, the first milestone that we'll be looking towards is when the undocking command is sent at 9.35 a.m. Central Time. Then we should see physical separation about five minutes later at 9.40 a.m. Central Time. Following Station Houston on two. Dragon is go for undocking and departure. Expect the undock command sent at 15.35. Copy, 15.35, go for undock and departure. Great news, thanks. And you did just hear that call from Capcom Scott Sagati to the crew, informing them that all is proceeding smoothly and we are go for undocking at 9.35 a.m. Central Time this morning. Following undocking today, the unpiloted Dragon will have a deorbit burn to drop the orbit of the vehicle in anticipation for its re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. That deorbit burn is scheduled for tomorrow at 2.18 at p.m. Central Time, which will slow Dragon down enough to drop its orbit and send it towards its landing zone. Landing is currently targeted off the coast of Panama City, Florida at 3.05 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. The first milestone we're looking toward this morning is the undocking command to be sent by ground controllers to the International Space Station. That command is scheduled to be sent at 9.35 a.m. Central Time. Once that command to undock is sent, we'll look for two sets of six hooks from the International Space Station to be released from Crew Dragon. After the hooks are open, we will have two small undocking burns that will last just a few seconds, followed by two short departure burns. We'll then begin to see separation of the vehicle, and at this point, we'll start to see the spacecraft slowly drift away from the International Space Station. At this time, the Cargo Dragon is still attached to the International Space Station, and it will be for the next few minutes before it is undocked for its return to Earth tomorrow, carrying over 4,900 pounds of research and return cargo. NASA TV will not broadcast Dragon's splashdown off the coast of Panama City, Florida, but you can be sure to check for updates on the space station blog and social media.
on board the International Space Station, there are currently seven crew members living and working. Expedition 66 consists of NASA astronauts Raja Chari, Kayla Barron, Tom Marshburn, and Mark Vandehei, as well as Roscosmos cosmonauts Piotr Dubrov and Oleg Novitsky, as well as Matthias Maurer of the European Space Agency. NASA And one correction there, Anton Skaplarov is no longer on the space station, it is Anton Novitsky. The Dragon vehicle is carrying more than 4,900 pounds of research and return cargo samples, hardware and data from completed science investigations. Some of those highlights include the last light for LL LMM, a state-of-the-art light imagining mi imaging microscope, the light the light microscopy module LMM will return after about 12 years on the space station. LMM is sponsored by NASA's Division of Biological and Physical Science, which made it possible to observe and record the way matter is organized and moves on the microscopic level. LMM has supported groundbreaking colloid research, plant studies, and thermophysics experiments. The in-space four physics study is also returning samples that could provide insight into how to harness nanoparticles to fabricate and manufacture new materials, including medical diagnostics and thermal shields for Earth and space applications. The European Space Agency investigation cytoskeleton contributes to understanding of how the human body responds to microgravity. This study could support development of countermeasures to help astronaut crew members maintain optimum health on future space missions. These are just a few of the science investigation re returning to Dragon tomorrow for further analysis and results. The International Space Station continues to serve as an essential testbed for people on Earth and in orbit as we continue to move forward, eventually placing the first woman and first person of color on the moon and eventually Mars.
We're just about five minutes out from the first milestone we're looking toward this morning which is the undocking command to be sent by ground controllers. And that command is scheduled to be sent at 9.35 a.m. Central Time. Once the command to undock is sent, we'll look for two sets of six hooks from the International Space Station to be released from Crew Dragon. And after those hooks are open, we will have two small undocking burns that will last just seconds, followed by two short departure burns. And we'll then begin to see separation of the vehicle. At this point, we'll start to see the spacecraft slowly drift away from the International Space Station. Following undocking today, the unpiloted Dragon will have a deorbit burn to drop the orbit of the vehicle for its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The deorbit burn is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon at 2.18 p.m. Central Time, 3.18 p.m. Eastern Time. The burn will slow Dragon down enough to drop it out of orbit and send it towards its landing zone off the coast of Panama City, Florida. Splashdown is expected at 3.05 p.m. Central Time, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Again, NASA will not be providing coverage of Splashdown, but you can follow along on the Space Station blog and social media for updates. This view of SpaceX Mission Control in Hawthorne, California. The teams in Hawthorne work in tandem with NASA flight controllers in Mission Control Houston. We're now about one minute away from the first major milestone we're looking towards this morning, which is the undocking command to be sent by ground teams here on the ground. 
That command is scheduled to be sent at 9.35 a.m. Central Time. Following the command being sent, we'll look for two sets of six hooks from the International Space Station to be released from Crew Dragon. And after those hooks are open, we'll have two small undocking burns that will last just seconds, followed by two sh short departure burns. At this point, we'll begin to see separation of the vehicle, and we'll start to see the spacecraft slowly drift away. Because we are in a handover between satellites, we may not have views during the physical separation. However, we'll receive confirmation from the crew on board, and we'll also regain those views and be able to see Dragon as it departs. The command for undocking has been sent. The next milestone we're looking is for two sets of six hooks to open. This will take just a couple of minutes. Again, the undocking command has been sent. We are now waiting for two sets of hooks to open. Following this, there will be a very short set of undocking burns as well as a short set of departure burns. and the first set of hooks have begun to open. There are two sets of hooks with six each for a total of 12 hooks in all that will be open today. Station Houston on two. First set of hooks are open. Dragon is committed to undock. We copy, committed to undock. Again, the first set of hooks are open and the second set are in the midst of opening. If you're just joining us this morning, we're bringing you live coverage of the autonomous undocking of a SpaceX Cargo Dragon vehicle that has been docked to the space station since December 22nd. Packed inside Cargo Dragon is more than 4,000. Visual separation confirmed, 15, 40, 23. 
Copy, Tom. And all hooks are open. Dragon separation is confirmed. And those words from the crew informing that they are able to see physical separation. Undocking occurring at 9.40 a.m. Central Time, 10.40 a.m. Eastern Time over the South Pacific Ocean. The unpiloted SpaceX Cargo Dragon vehicle that has been docked to the space station since December 22nd is now headed back to Earth. Packed inside Cargo Dragon is more than 4,900 pounds of research and return cargo. Copy, burn zero complete. And we will be regaining video capability from the space station shortly. We're in the process of a series of burns. These burns will help to distance Dragon from the space station. and you're seeing a view of the Dragon as it departs the space station. The next milestone that we'll look for Dragon to complete is when it exits the keepout sphere. The keepout sphere is a 200 meter radius around the space station. And as Dragon continues to move further away from the space station, it will exit the approach ellipsoid. This is a four kilometer by two kilometer by two kilometer space around the International Space Station. Both the keepout sphere and the approach ellipsoid serve as checkpoints for vehicles on the way to and from the space station. Later this afternoon, Dragon will be a safe distance away from the space station for its deorbit burn, which is currently scheduled for 2.18 p.m. Central Time. 
this burn will be The deorbit burn scheduled for tomorrow at 2.18 p.m. Central Time will be a just under eight minute long braking maneuver. This will allow the Dragon to drop out of its orbit for its descent back to Earth. Dragon will splash down off the coast of Florida tomorrow at 3.05 p.m. Central Time. Landing is scheduled off the coast of Panama City, Florida. We won't be broadcasting Splashdown, but you can follow along on the Space Station blog and social media for updates. Departure burn one is complete. And we copied departure one burn complete. And Expedition 66 wishes the Dragon well on its return. Congratulations to Houston and SpaceX. We can't wait to see what the results bring us. And good words, Tom, and a big congratulations to you and the rest of the crew for all the work you did with this mission. Great job as well. Happy Houston, thanks. And that was Capcom Scott Sagati confirming that Dragon has completed the departure burns and some bid farewell words to Dragon by NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Dragon should be exiting the keep out sphere in, a, in just about one minute. Once Dragon exits the keep out sphere, which is that 200 meter radius around the space station, we'll be looking for it to exit the approach ellipsoid. And we did just get confirmation that Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere. And we copy exiting the keep out sphere. With Dragon having successfully exited the keep out sphere, joint operations between teams here in Houston and the SpaceX flight control team in Hawthorne will be complete. At this point, NASA's task as part of the joint mission operations are finished for this operation and flight controllers in the SpaceX Mission Control Center in Hawthorne, California will take over operations of the Dragon cargo craft.
Dragon is continuing to move further from the International Space Station, all proceeding smoothly so far. The next milestone that we're looking towards is when Dragon will exit the approach ellipsoid, scheduled for about nine minutes from now. The approach ellipsoid is four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers. If you're just joining us this morning, the unpiloted SpaceX Cargo Dragon is on its way back to Earth with more than 4,900 pounds of science investigations. Earlier this morning, the undocking command was sent at 9.35 a.m. Central Time, followed by physical separation at 9.40 a.m. Central Time, occurring over the South Pacific Ocean. Dragon has exited the keep out sphere and we're now waiting for Dragon to exit the approach ellipsoid. That should occur about seven minutes from now. Following this, Dragon will continue to move further from the International Space Station before its deorbit burn scheduled for 2.18 p.m. Central Time tomorrow afternoon. Dragon will have a parachute-assisted splashdown off the coast of Florida, scheduled to happen at 3.05 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. We are targeting splashdown off the coast of Panama City, Florida. Following splashdown, the experiments on board will be transferred to the NASA Space Station Processing Facility at the Kennedy, C Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA TV will not broadcast Dragon's splashdown, but you can look for updates on the Space Station blog and follow along on social media. This view of the Cargo Dragon as it continues to drift away from the International Space Station. Dragon is approaching the exit point of the approach ellipsoid, which is four kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers.
We're now less than five minutes away from the Cargo Dragon exiting the approach ellipsoid. And to recap the autonomous undocking events today, the unpiloted Dragon cargo vehicle was set free from the International Space Station at 9.40 a.m. Central Time while flying over the South Pacific Ocean. Dragon then executed a series of undocking and departure burns to move it to a safe distance away from the space station. The Dragon exited the keep out sphere and at this point we are waiting for confirmation that it has exited the approach ellipsoid. Once Dragon exits the approach ellipsoid, it will continue to move away from the International Space Station. Tomorrow at 2.18 p.m. Central Time, 3.18 p.m. Eastern Time, Dragon will conduct a deorbit burn. Following the deorbit burn, Dragon will have a parachute-assisted splashdown off the coast of Panama City, Florida. Splashdown is slated to occur at 3.05 p.m. Central Time, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow afternoon.
And we do have confirmation that the Dragon is now outside of the approach ellipsoid. Station Houston on two. Dragon is outside the approach ellipsoid on a 24-hour safe free drift trajectory. And again, another big thanks to all of you for all the work you've done in the last few days to get us ready for undock. We really do appreciate it. And we copy. Thank you as well. There's a lot of replanning going on, and uh, everyone did a fantastic job keeping us informed and uh, keeping us going and making this happen. So we very much appreciate it. It's been an audacious month, and uh, we, we hope all the return will be provide a lot of benefit for everyone on the ground. Thanks very much. And with Dragon now safely out of the approach ellipsoid, to recap some of the autonomous undocking events of today, the unpiloted Dragon cargo vehicle was set free from the International Space Station by commands from the ground at 9.35 a.m. Central Time, and physical separation occurred at 9.40 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying over the South Pacific Ocean. Dragon then executed a series of undocking and departure burns to move it to a safe distance away from the space station, where it will continue to move for the next several hours. Tomorrow at 2.18 p.m. Central Time, Dragon will execute a deorbit burn. And following the deorbit burn, Dragon will have a parachute-assisted splashdown off the coast of Panama City, Florida, targeted for 3.05 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. The experiments on board will then be transferred to NASA's Space Station Processing Facility at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA TV will not broadcast Dragon's splashdown, but you can look for updates on the Space Station blog and follow along on social media. And with the Cargo Dragon now safely on its way back to Earth, carrying more than 4,900 pounds of cargo and research with it, that will wrap our coverage for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Mission Control Houston.